Good morning. Well, Jeremiah is going to act out another prophetic parable. What is it? Our reading today is in Jeremiah chapter 19, verses 1 to 3. Thus says the Lord, Go and get a potter's earthen flask, and take some of the elders of the people, and some of the elders of the priests, and go out to the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is by the entry of the potsherd gate, and proclaim there the words that I will tell you, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring such a catastrophe on this place, that whoever hears of it, his ears will tingle. That sounds pretty stern. Pretty stern. Tingling ears. So today and the next two mornings, we're going to look at the sign of the broken flask. This is a, an enacted parable that uh, God commands Jeremiah to do, and he's going to carry this out. So today we have the first portion here. God calls on Jeremiah to get a, a certain flask, to gather up certain people, bring them to a certain place, and he's going there, he's to give a proclamation as God commands him. And so Jeremiah does all these things. He's to gather the people to the valley of the son of Hinnom. This is a place on the southern, it's a ravine at the southern edge of the city of Jerusalem. Uh, it used to be the town dump. They would throw anything that was garbage, they'd throw it out there. Uh, that was also a place where worship, uh, crazy idol worship happened. And even at different times, they would actually take their infant children and, and burn them in the fire as sacrifices to Baal a place where a lot of them probably didn't even want to go, but that's what happens. Now, this prophecy is not only to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, but it says here it's also to the kings of Judah. Do you think Jehoiakim was uh, anxious to go out there and hear this? No, but word would certainly filter back from the elders of Israel and so on. You can be sure that word was going to filter back to Jehoiakim, and he would hear uh, just exactly what message Jeremiah is going to give here tomorrow morning. And you know, it's also true that people need to be reminded that, you know, the king is AWOL. The king is away without leave. He's off of God's plan. He's a king of, of God's kingdom, but he's he's totally, Jehoiakim is, he's very high on the list of extremely bad kings. So that's what's going on. So you also know that many of the people, many of the people in the kingdom of Judah, totally out to lunch, morally, absolutely off the tracks. But, and yet, Jeremiah is still able to gather a, a significant group of the elders and a group of the priests and get them to actually come and hear him. And they could probably kind of already figure, yeah, Jeremiah is going to say something that Jehoiakim and, and the main leaders are going to hate it. Uh, but they're, they're, there's enough interested people to come. So there's going to be, there's a group here now that gathers and they're going to hear this proclamation by the servant of God. So tomorrow morning, we're going to hear this proclamation when we carry on at the next verse. But the question always kind of comes back to us. Are, are we off of God's plan? Am I off of God's plan? Am I, am I doing anything that's going to hinder the progress of his people spiritually? What is my influence? What am I doing for the kingdom? Is it a plus? Is it a minus? I mean, is it is it neutral? Am I not even having any effect? I mean, that in itself is not something we want to be true. We want to have a positive impact for God's kingdom. Am I standing in the way of something possibly that God wants to do, you know, for his local congregation, wherever you are? You know, we're saved as individuals, but we are often impacted by groups. What influence am I having for the kingdom? And no matter how hopeless things might appear, we want God's kingdom to prevail. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you're still on the throne. We believe that even one person can have a giant influence. Would you work through us by your Holy Spirit? Help us to be an influence for right wherever you've placed us, wherever we are in your vineyard. Lord, help us to be ready and interested to hear even those kinds of messages, if those are the messages we need. Bless us, Lord, with the kind of food we need spiritually. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. Bless your people. Help your people, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So God is going to have Jeremiah break a flask here in front of this group. I mean, he's literally going to smash it to pieces, but he's working to make an impression through this. Hopefully, you and I are already impressed by God's word. We want to be right. God be with you today.